Today is day 18 at the Capitol with the Dream Defenders for Takeover Florida and day three of the People's Session. Today we'll be addressing the issue of racial profiling within law enforcement. We will have expert testimony from Kevin Powell of BP Nation, Bill Quigley, a law professor from Loyola University, and Atisha Stevens from the American Civil Liberties Union of Northeast Florida. Racial profiling violates the human right to fair treatment and freedom from discrimination. For me, until uh, this is removed from the society, this issue of racial profiling, how can we really say we've made great progress in 50 years since the March on Washington to have a great speech? We all would agree that passing state and federal legislation to eradicate racial profiling is imperative. The United States jails more of our citizens than any country in the world. We leave the world in jailing our own citizens. It costs more money to put somebody in jail than it does to send them to college. Uh, today is a very special day for us. We have people from across the nation, leaders and community leaders as well, that are coming to support us and we're actually going to observe Ramadan today. At 8 o'clock tonight, we're going to have an, the Iftar dinner and we're going to have a lot of uh, interfaith uh, community people come out from, like I said, around the world and we're going to eat and we're going to build and we're going to love and we're going to flourish. This cause is greater than all of us. So what you're doing is almost revelatory. There's a letter in the New Testament, the letter of James, which talks about profiling people who appear not to fit in with one's own group. And I see that as prevalent in our society everywhere I go. What you're doing is calling attention to that. I bless you for it. My prayers are for your success. I'm confident that you will succeed. That's why I'm here, support you and pray for you. And know that for each and every one of you present here, most likely for each person, you represent thousands of others who carry the same dream, the same hope, the same prayer. We are the ones that can change the way things are. You are the ones that can make a difference. Change is what will take us forward. So keep doing what you're doing and know that we stand with you. And so I know it gets tiring, I know it gets weary, but don't give up uh, because at the end we win. How many of you believe that you're winners? Come on. Woo! fasted and broke our fast with what God destined for us. So God destined us with this beautiful meal today, with the beautiful friendships in the room, with the power that we're building. I want to make sure when we eat this meal that we remember all the blessings that God has given us, um, the food that he has blessed us with, the nutrition that we will have, um, and the love that we have in this room. So I am very honored to break my fast with all of you today. Amen. Amen.